I just wanted to go over why we're creating a game object for our player spawn point. If you notice up here, we're creating a vector 3, which we call player spawn point position, and then we're assigning it a default value. In retrospect, we should have actually made this public so you could actually change it in the editor instead of always having to come back to the script. But the reason behind making it a game object was so that we could actually create a game object in the world, place it anywhere we want, and have the player spawn at that position. This little block of code we're making actually just goes ahead and creates a game object if it can't find one, and just puts it in a default position for us. And another reason is later on, I want to take uh, the spawn points. We're going to have multiple spawn points. We're going to have spawn points for all of our mobs as well. And I want to be able to tag all these spawn points as waypoints. And I can have mobs move around from waypoint to waypoint. So I was going to create the waypoints anyway in game. So I might as well just have them be, you know, used as a spawn point as well for our player or the mobs. Now you could also just create a big list of vector threes for your waypoints. But this system here is it's pretty easy, it's pretty flexible. Uh, game objects, you know, empty game objects, nothing attached to them, aren't really intensive on your system. So I, I don't know, it just it seemed logical to me. Anyway, I hope that clears up any questions you have. Uh, if not, just leave a comment down below and I'll answer you as best as I can. I'll see you in the next video.